Good morning everyone! In this video, I'm going to show you how to measure spacing or distance between elements in Sketch. I learned about this shortcut when I was interning at Pinterest, but I wish I knew this way earlier than that. Anyhow, let's get into it. Let's say you have a balloon image and then you have a text element. You want to place this image 20 pixels to the left of this UI. This is how you do it. You hold down the Option key on your keyboard, and then you hover on other ele elements to measure the distance. So I have selected the balloon, and then I hold down Option, and then once I move away from the balloon image, I can see some numbers, I can see some red lines, or I can hover on any other elements and show me different numbers. What it means is that if I move over on this UI layer or the artboard, I can see 45, that means there are 45 pixels between the left edge of this UI and the balloon. If I hover on the text element, it says 34, that means there are 34 pixels. So that's how you measure spacing, and that's, that's also why it's called red line, red lining. It's a fairly common term to use in Silicon Valley. You can tell engineers to red line elements, that means you want to tell them to measure the distance, measure the spacing between elements to get the right specs, so that they can implement your design pixel to pixel. So I can select the element, hold on option, and then move around. Now it says 45, but I want 20, right? So I can move 25 pixels to the left, so now I have 20, but now it seems like it's too far from the balloon, 59. Well, let's keep, the, keep them the same. Let's make them both 20. 20 to the left of the edge, 20 to the text element. So this is how I can do it. I can select the text element, hold on option. Now I'm measuring against the balloon instead of the other way around. So now it shows 59, so I have to move 39 pixels to the left to make them the same, right? So I now I have 20, so I have to select the balloon again. I measure 20 to the left, 20 to the right. All right, if that's what I wanted, cool, I'm done. That's a very handy and very important sketch shortcut to know. All right, that's it for this quick tutorial. Hope this tip will help you design faster in the future. If you find this video useful, please give it a like. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to this channel and stay tuned for the next one. See you on the next video. Cheers.